Welcome to the Coupler IO Academy, where industry experts share tips and tricks on working with data. In this video, we will show you how to blend multiple data sources in Looker Studio. Hi there, I'm Josh. When you build reports in Looker Studio, it's very common to use data from multiple sources. It could be different spreadsheets, databases, apps, or any mix that works for your purposes. In this tutorial, I'll tell you everything you need to know about data blending in Looker Studio. I'll also explain when blending isn't the best idea and what the more efficient alternatives are. Let's look at an example. I'm going to work with two Google Sheets that I'll aim to blend in a meaningful way. The first dataset contains stats on my email marketing campaigns. Let's name it accordingly and add it to the new report. And now let's add a second sheet. This one contains the CRM data with our business clients. I'll also give it a shorter name. Looks like it didn't update, but a quick refresh should do the job. Okay, so we're good to go. Now I have both data set in the data pane to the right. You can see that both files have an email field and it's something I will use to blend data in the report. It doesn't matter that the field is named differently. One way to get started is by simply selecting a chart that you want to use the Looker Studio blended data with. Next, click the Blend Data button, which will pull up a new window. If it's the first time that you're doing this, you may get an invitation to a tour, which is something definitely worth checking. I'll close it for now. On the left, I have the table with email marketing stats. Let's merge it with the CRM data. Click to join another table and find the right source. Let's name each table so it's easier to navigate later. To each table, add the fields that you want to use in this blend. You can add up to 10 fields for each table and you'll need to drag and drop them one by one. What's more, you can only blend up to five tables at once. These limitations actually make a lot of sense. The more data you add to each blend, the heavier workload Looker Studio will have to endure to display the data you need. As a result, it may take longer to load your charts. This is the main issue with blending data in Looker Studio. While it won't be an issue for my datasets, as I only have five columns in each, it may limit you when you work with larger, more complex sources with lots of relevant data to blend. Don't worry though, I'll show you a way around this later in the video. Okay, I now have all the fields I want to blend. The next step is to configure a join condition. Looker Studio uses SQL joins to give you control over how the data should be merged. There are five available options. Let's start with an inner join that will return only the matching data from both datasets. In other words, Looker Studio will fetch only the rows where an email address appears in both datasets ignoring all others. To finalize this blend, set up the join conditions using the fields in both datasets that are related. Like I discussed earlier, I'll use the email fields from both spreadsheets. Let's save, give this blend a name, and see it in action. Now the table has the newly created blend as the data source. You can also see all the blended data to the right. Let's expand the table and populate it with some more data. I'll add the company name and the name of my contact at that company. I won't be needing the email field anymore. I'll also add to the mix some columns from the email marketing table, such as the number of clicks and conversions. Let's get rid of record count while we're at it. And now you can see a table with two blended data sources. The first two columns come from the CRM spreadsheet, while the next two originate from the email marketing file. Looker Studio fetched 15 rows of data, as only that many email addresses appeared in both files. This was an example of an inner join. Let's now have a look at the right outer join, which will take all available data from the CRM table and only the matching data from the email marketing table. Now the blended data has changed. You can see that there are some null values for the email related fields. This means that there were records for the respective companies in the CRM file, 
but there were no related email marketing stats in the other table. As a result of the right join, the number of rows increased to 25. The left join works in an identical way, just in the opposite direction. Now, Looker Studio collected all rows from the email marketing table, but for five of them, there were no equivalents in the CRM table. In reality, the right join is rarely used. Commonly, if you want to fetch all data from one table and only the matching data from another table, you'll just place the first table to the left and apply a left join. But if you don't want to move things around, the right join is also an option. The fourth type of join is a full outer join that just takes all data from both tables. So here you have all the nulls because there were no data for email marketing and more missing data below for all rows where only email stats were available. This type of join can also be very useful in various situations. Finally, there's a cross join that returns every possible combination of data from both tables and doesn't require join conditions. It doesn't really make sense for my data, but it's also an option. Let's revert to the right join. Now you may be wondering how to blend data in Looker Studio for more than two tables. The mechanics here look very similar. Let's add one more data source. I have one more Google Sheets tab where I store data on the companies we cooperate with. I'll add it to the report and rename the source right away. In the resource menu, you'll find the list of all your blends. I'll jump to the one that I previously created and we'll add a new table. On top of the company name field, I'll add the country where they're headquartered and the size of each company. What I want to do now is create a join between the companies table and the CRM table. Both contain a field with company names and I'll use it as a join key. Simultaneously, the first two tables will still be joined on the email address key. I think the full outer join will work fine here as I want to pick up all available data from both tables. Company fields are named identically, so Looker Studio has no issue guessing the join conditions. Let's name the third table before we proceed and save. Back in my report, I see that Looker Studio blended data is lacking columns from the newly added table. A quick refresh should fix it. Yup, now all is good. So let's go ahead and add the country field from the third table to the existing table. Now my table is ready and I think you should have a pretty good understanding of how to blend data in Looker Studio. I showed you a simple example with a few dozen of rows in each table, but in a typical business scenario, you likely work with thousands of rows of data. As you start blending such data sets and interacting with charts, you'll likely notice how Looker Studio takes a fair amount of time to load your data. In fact, the more data sources you add and the more often you rely on data blending, the slower Looker Studio typically gets. To make sure your dashboards run efficiently, you want to process the data prior to connecting it to Looker Studio and ditch the idea of connecting multiple data sources in Looker Studio. In other words, you want to blend and transform all your data and only then connect it to Looker Studio as a single data source. Only that guarantees a solid performance of your dashboards, and you can trust us on that. We've built hundreds of Looker Studio dashboards, both for our clients and for our own needs. If you're proficient with BigQuery or other database solutions, you'll have an easy time preparing your datasets. But if that's not the case, You'll want to use a platform that does everything for you and requires no analytical expertise whatsoever. A popular option in this segment is Coupler IO. Coupler IO turns complex data into simple reports and connects dozens of apps to Looker Studio on a fully automated basis. For an easier comparison with the built in methods, I'll also blend several Google Sheets files and then bring the blended data to Looker Studio. First, I'll connect my Google account and authorize access to data. I'll use the same spreadsheet as I did before and pick the sheet with email marketing stats. Let's name this source appropriately. Next, I can add more data sources. 
either from Google Sheets or from any other supported apps. Unlike Looker Studio, Coupler I.O. doesn't enforce any limit on the number of data sources in each blend. So let's go ahead and add the CRM data. The next step is data transformations. Here you have two options. You can either union the data, which means merging data vertically by appending one data set to another, or you could run a join like I did in Looker Studio. Let's do it this time, but I'll show you a union example too later in the video. I'll add both data sets and then find the email fields to use as join keys. At the moment, only left join is available, but other join methods are coming very soon. Now you can preview your data. The first five columns come from the email marketing sheet, while the next five are from the CRM. You could view each data set separately too, if you prefer. Let's transform this data a bit to get rid of unnecessary columns. The email column appears twice, once for each data set. So I'll remove the duplicate. Actually, I don't need emails in my data set at all. I'll move the name field to the front. Also, let's limit the amount of imported data and only collect the rows with at least three conversions. You can also sort data, create any custom formulas if you wish. I want to dive deeper into conversions from clicks. So I'll create a new metric, calculate the clicks to conversion ratio. This could also help me find some strange values in my data, but I'll leave it for another discussion. Remember how Looker Studio only allows 10 columns for each data source you blend? Coupler IO doesn't have such limits. You can add as many columns as you wish and create new ones as I just did. However, for an easier analysis, I would recommend only importing the columns you'll actually use in your report. I think the data is ready now, so it's time to load the blended data sources to Looker Studio. Generate a new data source. Then click connect to load your data. And here it is. Now, as you add the data to your report, you see it as a single data source ready for your analysis. I promised a union example, so here we go. Jumping back to Coupler IO, you can add more sources. Let's go with Google Sheets again and the same spreadsheet. I have one more sheet with even more email marketing stats. Jumping to transformations, you can click the plus icon to add more blends for the connected data. I'll select both email marketing tabs, and here's the preview of the data. First comes the data from the first sheet, and here's the appended import from the other sheet. Now I can bring the United Email Marketing Stats as a separate data source to Looker Studio, or better yet, combine the join and union to have all three sheets blended together. In a typical business scenario, you don't have all the data in spreadsheets. Plenty of it resides directly in the apps you use and needs to be exported one by one to Looker Studio for analysis. Why bother setting up different connectors and risking an immediate slowdown of your dashboard if you can pre-process this data effortlessly in Coupler IO? Here's a common business setup. A user connects a spreadsheet with old email campaigns with the latest analytics from MailChimp. Simultaneously, they fetch the CRM data from HubSpot and enrich it with the spreadsheets their team used for outreach. With Coupler IO, they blend all data sources, transform the data, and bring it all as a single data source to Looker Studio. And last but not least, all imports are fully automated. You can enable automatic data refresh, choose the schedule that works for you, and run an importer. From now on, the data in Looker Studio will refresh with no effort on your end. And that's it. Now you know how to blend data in Google Data Studio. But if you still have any questions, feel free to ask them down in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video and found it useful, please give it a like, share the video with others, and subscribe to our channel so you never miss a thing. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.